Manscaped Fitness. Here we go. And thanks yourself. And keep him well. Thank you very much. Okay, so today is a chest session. Um, chest and biceps. I'm going to not go heavy on the chest session this time because this is the second time this week I'm rocking chest. Um, so, firstly, we're starting off with some light uh, cable flies. Four sets, 20 reps, nice and easy, get blood flow into the chest and then, uh, then we'll get into the hectic, the hectic stuff. Um, four sets of chest exercises, a few of them will be supersets, some drop sets, time at attention. A lot of nifty tricks we're doing today. Okay, the thing with this exercise is what's happening here, again, irrelevant. What you want to focus on is the movement of your elbows and your shoulders. Okay, elbows need to be at a height that are lower than your shoulders so as to eliminate shoulder movement. Okay, you want to get the pec as much as involved as possible. So what you're kind of thinking about is uh, the movement of pressing your elbows together. So elbows meeting together, your chest contracts as much as it can. You'll find often that when you fully contract your chest, your elbows or your arms are not able to go further past this point. So fully contract the chest right here. So, Obviously, fully extended chest, elbows slightly lower than shoulder width, uh, shoulder height, and then elbows focus, full on contraction, all the way back to starting position, close again. And don't forget your breathing. So I'm just going to be doing some light dumbbell presses and then 50% drop sets, pump out as many reps as I can, maybe maximum of 15, uh, if I can't hit 15, so failure, 4 sets of that. Hot in here, man. I think I sounded like a proper Indian there when I said it. Hot in here, man. <laughs> huh? Uh, half, half. It's just when I'm in Durban, it activates. I see when I go to Joburg, like Indian accent's gone. Second I'm in Durban and I'm speaking to other Indian people, it's like half half. <laughs> okay, thing is you see a lot of oaks um, bring up clash or try to bring it together. Again, same thing like, like I explained with the, um, the flies is that you want to sort of focus on what's happening here with your elbows, not what's happening here. So. The idea is, again, elbows just under shoulder height and then pushing and driving through with the elbows. Now, uh, a, lot of, a lot of guys, especially when bench pressing or dumbbell pressing, you see them do this, okay? Um, and you're not getting maximum activation from focusing on your hand movement. Uh, if you focus on what I do now, there's a difference between this and that. Difference between hand drive and elbow drive chest is far more activated when you're driving from elbows instead of hands. Okay, hands, elbows.
think I need a heavier weight. Oh wait, I got 12s. Are, are you putting this footage in? Yeah. Okay, this is Fit Bay. Fit Bay, this is cameraman and camera. This is my girlfriend, Matilda. She's awesome. Do that one more time. Man. No. <laughs> um, this is called magic sauce. It's what keeps humans alive. <laughs> it's just water. <laughs> okay, two more sets. You need to go as heavy as you can that your muscles can handle without breaking the, the tension within the cycle of the set. So for example, you can't stop too long at the bottom. You can't chill out at the top. There needs to be absolutely zero breaks in tension. So basically, a uh, little trick I picked up from Ra Ben, Mr. Ben Pukulski, is um, that GH in a specific muscle spikes after 40 seconds of consistent time and attention. Um, four seconds on the eccentric, on the negative portion, one second on the concentric. So that's five seconds per rep, eight reps, and zero, zero breaks in tension. Your rest period is going to be just that short. 40 seconds rest, 40 seconds consistent tension on the muscle, and then on the last set, um, you do what Ben calls NOS, which is drop the weight by 20% for a total of three drop sets. But we're going to take it even further and do drop stretch sets. So at the last rep of each drop, you're going to hold the weight in its fully stretched out position. Uh, and that creates sort of occlusion training and gets blood flow locked into that muscle. It flippin' hurts. Uh, you'll see the effect of it on the muscle when I do, uh, when I do arms, because I'm, I'm gonna do a stretch set for my last uh, bicep curls exercise. So I got partial reps in there. Still got the total time and attention, but don't underestimate partial reps. Partial reps are excellent. hurts every time. <sighs> okay, that was chest done. Uh, got three 
free exercise group for biceps. And we're gonna start off pretty simple, pretty easy, straightforward. Barbell bicep curls, get some blood going in. And then we'll uh, start supersetting and then I got one more time under tension, nice set set for you guys. Dude, you see what that, that, that chest set did to my flipping vest, bro? I'm gonna do three sets here because I want to make sure I get a good pump on the on the last exercise. This mirror makes you look good, dude. Like, my waist is tiny and my shoulders are wide. <laughs> 